So I was just looking at this image down here in the description and noticed something interesting. If you look at the position of people of color in this particular bit of information, you'll see that they basically vote 100% blue, which is not surprising if you think about it because if you go by the liberal agenda, quote unquote, the root word of liberalism is liberty at its root, liberty. And why would we have people of color voting almost exclusively liberal, the party of what we said here was liberty? Because, well, these are people that realize they need more liberty, that they are oppressed and they need freedom. And so they're voting for the party that wants to move forward, change things towards a more liberal, liberty-based agenda. However, if we go down this bit of information, we see that the more we go towards the white side of things, the more red and Republican we get. Which, of course, at its root is conservatism. Conservatism is, at its root, the simple belief of status quo or regression. The idea that things are the way they are for a reason and they're good that way, or things used to be good that one way and that they change towards the worse. And what is the important demarcation here between these two groups? Privilege. Obviously, clearly, duh, privilege. People of color have less privilege than white people, especially white males. This is obvious to anyone who wants to look at the information. And as such, we see people of privilege voting Republican, people in disadvantaged situations voting Democrat. And I think, just taking a shot here, that this should tell us something very goddamn important about the political process and what the difference between the privileged and non-privileged people is, which is one, the most important one, people of privilege have the ability to say things are good enough. They can live in a situation right now where things are acceptable to them. For people of color, the only reason about 100% of them are going to vote blue, according to this graph, is because, why? They almost universally feel oppressed, subjugated, and... Number two for this, economics, which is, yes, a part of privilege, but more specifically, Republican ideas are very admittedly favoring the wealthy, while Democratic ideas are favoring the poor, generally. And so, using this graph, we can make a very obvious conclusion about who has the money. White people. Wealthy white people. Even the poor white people vote like they're wealthy, mostly because they think they're going to be or they think their kids are going to be, but that's not even the point right now. The point really is that white people, especially white men, are voting Republican because they're satisfied with the way things are. Guess what? About everybody else is not so sure on that. And so rather than looking at white people and saying they must have it right, let's look at every other group in the world here, especially in America, all concentrated here, all the various groups, nationalities, and peoples of color, and if we see them all voting a certain way, I think we can accept, at least I hope we can, that just maybe here, hear me out, the situation is rigged towards the white people. People of color perceive themselves as oppressed. They perceive themselves as being victims of a society that doesn't care about them, and they're voting to reflect that. I think we could quite easily say that this graph right here, this bit of information alone, tells us worlds about the disparity between the privileged and the underprivileged and the non-privileged. This tells us the disparity between white people and people of color, between white women and white men. You can see it all there, and you see the more privilege these groups have, the more red they become. Not only is it an inference from information like this, but it's borne out by the data, the rest of the data. It's all there.